Hello friends, in this tutorial we're going to learn how to build this auto text effect using JavaScript. This is one of the projects from the 100 days 100 projects challenge that I did and I actually coded this on my iPhone because I wasn't home at that period. So let's see how we can build this now on the desktop of course. All right, so here we have a code pen project. We have the h1 as an HTML tag with an ID of text. We're going to target this h1 in the JavaScript. And we have a little bit of CSS just to give it a little font and maybe center everything in the center. So that's it. We don't have to worry about HTML and CSS. So let's focus on the JavaScript. Okay, so as I said, we're going to target that text h1 tag document get element by id text and we're going to have the text we want to appear on the screen in a variable so let's call it I don't know, prog from programming because the text will say we love programming because we do right and the last thing as a variable we're going to keep track of the index so where in the string we are at Let's say let index will be one. We want the W to be always on the screen, so we'll start with one. Okay, let's create a set interval, which is going to run a function every, let's say, 100 milliseconds. And the function name will be write text. All right, and let's create that write text function. Write text, which will basically take the text inner text of the text and then we're going to slice the programming text up to the index so prog slice zero index and now you're going to see the w because we don't do anything so let's increase the index and you can see now the animation taking place or effect or however you want to call it Okay, but it stops at some point, and that's because we need to reset the index. So, if the index is bigger than programming length, then we want the index to reset. So, index will be 1. Alright, now you can see that it works. It's animating sort of the letters of the screen. I mean, basically they appear, so we might add some CSS animations. Let me know in the comments if you'd like to see that. That's it for this tutorial, I hope you liked it, if you did give it a like, subscribe for more videos of this type and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye!